Hello, and first off, I'd um, like to say I'm sorry for not having do doing a video in a very long time. Um, sometime in late November was the last one. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Just been really busy, so I'm going to try and make up for it by doing a lot of the smaller requests uh, back to back, as in hoping to get two to three videos within a two to three day span and then try to get back on the one a week or two smaller ones a week schedule. Um, one thing that was requested was the actual building of um, uh, the actual building of the building so them just pop up have them wait a time. Uh, so what I did was I figured what was really meant was almost animating the building. Uh, if you look at the newer ones um, They'll often have scaffoldings around the building, especially medieval ones, and um, little workers walking around laying brick and stuff. On space, that's a little bit hard. I just did a very basic animation because I do n it's not even an animation. I do not have the time or effort to put into art, but I will be showing you the code and how to take some art that you have the time to make and implement it into your game. Um, yes, I understand this. Um... Um, to do this, I made uh, two sprites for an example. Uh, the first one is just the bottom of our main building, because like all the other ones, I'll do it on one, and then you can duplicate the code for uh, other additional buildings and whatnot. And I chopped pretty much all the bottom off so it goes down to the foundation. You can go down even further. And what I'm basically going to do is add key steps. Uh, first will be the foundation, then there'll be a middle way, and then there'll be a close to complete, and then complete. I did uh, a middle foundation way, close to complete, and then complete. Uh, you can do as many steps as you want, and I'll show you how to add multiple steps. First one, I did a solid, non-animated object. If you are doing a medieval one, what you may want to do is take the building and draw a scaffolding around it. If you want to do space, you may want to make it a slightly bigger sprite and add uh, work vehicles around that move around, that type of thing, um, and just really get going with that. Um, the second key part that I added, uh, I called main two, and uh, the animation part comes in with the window. The window starts blank white, and then gets to uh, go to blue. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, da -da. Okay, and then goes to blue, uh, the actual color of the window. So it's as if we're building it, and I cut off more of the top. So the first one we have it's uh, blank white right here, and then it gets kind of opaque blue, and then it gets the actual blue of the window, so it shows movement in the building. You can do whatever animation you want, and I'm going to show you an animated uh, key step, basically. Um, and uh, all th this doesn't take a lot of coding at all. Uh, it required one more object and one change of code, I believe. Um, in place underscore main... Uh, first create an object making underscore main, and you can do all your objects as making, making underscore fuel, making underscore uh, garage, or barracks, or whatever uh, you have. And then uh, under the left release, there should be one block of code, um, and in it, you have um, if place equals one instance underscore create, uh, in parentheses, x comma y comma making underscore, uh, you have uh, build, uh, building underscore main, change that to making underscore main, so now it makes that new object, and what will happen is you have making underscore main, which uh, pretty much needs three events, uh, your first one being create, uh, which inside we have instance underscore create in parentheses zero comma zero comma making, and uh, what this does is it makes that little object we have. It's the green rotating circle we've been using quite often uh, to show up in front of the building, so it lets us know that stuff is happening instead of just having a keystone. Mine doesn't animate. If yours is animating, you can pretty much uh, you don't have to worry about creating the making. You just have to worry about the animation and the uh, alarm. And the alarm is the next line of code, which is alarm uh, zero equals 100. We're just going to stick with the same 100 steps, especially since we have making. And then in uh, alarm zero, we have, of course, instance underscore change in parentheses building underscore main comma true, uh, which means we're going to, now that the 100 steps is over, the building's complete, let's make ourselves into the building. And uh, lastly, we have step. This is where you'll actually program in your key steps where you change the image. Uh, I have if alarm zero is less than 50, and then sprite underscore index is equal to uh, main underscore two, which is our second key step, our uh, 
little slightly larger built thing but it's animated so we need to set the speed now because I only put in three uh, images it'll flash white light blue window blue in a row and keep looping uh, so what we're gonna have to do is have image underscore speed equal a very low number to slow down the animation play with this number or take it out altogether if you find that one works or thirty rather and, or no it would be one right because it, it's the room speed default is thirty so um, image underscore speed is equal to 0 0.0.5 you're going to have to play with this number until it looks good for your game and your animation so feel free to play with that and uh, when it's all done you don't actually have to add anything to the game it's all set and um, go ahead and run it and I'll try to speed click just to show you how to do this and like I said I'm going to be doing a lot of smaller requests uh, another one was to make enemy workers create buildings I think I'm going to be doing that one next and I'll try to upload it today or tomorrow so sometime over the weekend I should be uploading it um, alright so we're gonna go ahead make our building same thing uh, we have this there we go um, we made that and it went to blue and it went there. Uh, one thing I noticed was it didn't change to blue fast enough. It was still light blue as it was going, so I'd have to change the number a little bit more. Um, what else? Uh, making is lower on the depth scale than uh, the house, so you may have to change that. Uh, anything else? Let's see. Um... It, it, a lot of it is personalized. You have to actually look at it. Um, so let's see. Da, 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 objects, buildings. One thing I noticed is here it was zero zero. It should be x y. That's my bad. Um, one thing I am working on right now, not RTS and not the uh, game collaboration contest, is uh, HTML5. It has a canvas tag which lets you draw images with HTML and JavaScript, which means you could do coding and variable testing and all that stuff in JavaScript and then draw stuff with the canvas tag, which basically means you can now make games embedded in HTML as long as you have an HTML5 uh, compatible browser, which is... Google Chrome, of course, um, Firefox, Opera, basically everything except Internet Explorer. Uh, let's go ahead and make this, and we have making coming up right now. It's at 0x, and now we'll see that that gets blue and it gets built. So that's how we do that. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing more tutorials, uh, and I'm working on HTML5. Uh, if people want more information about HTML5, uh, I'm thinking about doing a series on that. I don't know if I really want to. Uh, I was going to do the Unity 3D, but I determined that Tornado Twins already have a good enough tutorial. I mean, I would basically be remaking their videos, and I don't want to do that. Um, so, I could do HTML5. I'm not against that. Or I'm just going to stick with the Game Maker in a different genre. But I'd like to have another thing to coincide with the RTS. Um, but once again, if you have any more RTS um, requests, go ahead and request them. I have gotten a few. I have made the ones that I have gotten pretty much except for the two that I plan on coming out soon. Uh, but after those two, I'm all out of requests, which means I'm all out of videos. So unless you request it, it will not be made. Uh, one of the ones I said I know I was doing was uh, enemies making buildings, as in a little more AI in that feature. And I forget what the other one was. I have it written down somewhere. Um, I'll let you know in the next video. Uh, hopefully tonight or tomorrow. So hope you look for that. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching.